This is Don Hurst. He's here at Highland Hill Farm. He's 88 years young. Tell us what you're doing here, Don. Well, I recycle rope, and it's a little, and and, and <clears throat> I picked some of this stuff out of the dumpster. Um, Are you a dumpster diver, an urban I'm miner? A dumpster diver, for for sure. You're the oldest dumpster diver in America. Uh, uh, Climbs right on in. Yes, sir. And uh, and what I do is. Uh, Try to recycle it, reuse it, and even the uh, I make up the spools for it out of uh, a dumpster diver again. Uh, out of old pieces of cardboard you get out of dumpsters. And, uh, old boxes and the like, right. and I cut them up and make spools out of them. And um, this is a process of doing it. Yep. Um, and I see in the background you got all those cups. What do you use those cups for? These here. All the cups. Oh, these, the these cups is a. Uh, um, I recycle um, a lot of uh, thrown away stuff or like nuts and bolts nuts and, and bolts hard and hardware screws and everything. Right. And then I, I sort them out and I take them and put them in that um, in the trays tray, tray over there and then I just go through it and pick them out as according to the flat head round right. head. I see on. people have brought in stuff here for you to sort. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. That's great stuff. Yep. Okay. Ways not want not. We have little compartments here. He, he takes all this this stuff and he sorts it out into what's usable for here on the farm. Yeah, I love it. Got it. Uh, and you can see he's got quite an assortment here to go through today. Uh, yep. Yep. This is a, like a like a winter job. Yep. That's uh, I separate everything that has part to do with mechanical and electrical and so on. I just separate it and then go through that again. Then over here you also make up the drip irrigation lines for here, us here at Highland Hill Farm, oh, correct? Yeah. yeah. How many of those have you made up this year so far do you think? Oh, uh, Four or five thousand of them? I would say that, yes. Yep. And um, I, it got to the point where screwing these little things on by fingers was hurting your fingers. It was really bad so I devised an idea which will, might help other people. I made a little nylon ring with a uh, O-ring on it and super glued it on. And man, I want to tell you, I can do 60 a minute. Wow, that's good. <laughs> and they don't come off, do they? And they do not come off. Yeah, he puts them on all it, the way up. You can't put that on very well with your just your bare fingers, no but that, that little that little no tool way. there, it really goes on. And yep. Then I bundle them up like this. Um, and uh, regular bundles, I in 20 and then tie them a string and then put the marker on it as, as a size you need. Yeah. Okay now Don has a little uh, uh, barter deal for you. If you bring in some nuts and bolts for him to sort he has right here a little box and tray of dinosaur bones. Yes and he also has over here in the, the corner he in, in his collection he has some uh, petrified wood and he will be glad to give you a trade for you know your unwanted nuts and bolts. He will give you some dinosaur bones that he has. And those dinosaur bones, tell him about the dinosaur bones, Pop. Well, they, they come off the, Mon the Montana ranch. Uh, and um, uh, around Malta. Right. And um, you have to dig down in the clay for them and you get them out. Uh, they're there. Yep. And you're going out to Montana going pheasant hunting this year, right? Yeah, I hope so. Yep, we're, we're leaving in October. I so. say hope so because I might not make it. Who knows? Oh, you're going to make it. <laughs> you know, we're not going to let you die. You know, we're going to get out there to get some pheasants. So, you know, you can either get, you know, his, his trade is either bring in some nuts and bolts, get some dinosaur bones, fossilized wood, or he'll bring you back a pheasant from Montana. Oh. And it'll be frozen. We'll we'll freeze it quick out there, and we'll we'll take care of it, process it, and we'll bring it back. But we would like to get your nuts and bolts, and if you have any twine rope like that, he could use that, Anytime. or or plumbing fixtures. He could use those. He you sort the plumbing fixtures out that we use here on the ranch and farm here in Doylestown. So give us a call at two one five six five one eight three two nine to help old Don out here. He needs your nuts and bolts. Yep, he, he's getting to be like a squirrel. He likes nuts. Okay.
These are cherry laurels at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville. This is a plant for semi-shade or sun. It's easy to grow. It's upright in habitat. It has nice, bright, deep colored green foliage. It also has white flowers in the springtime. It grows upright to about 10 feet high. It's used for screens and buffers where arborvitaes won't grow because of shade conditions. It's not an expensive plant. We grow quite a few of them and we have lots of other trees and shrubs for you to come and look at here at Highland Hill Farm. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 for your skip laurels. Thank you. These are more deer resistant plants here at Highland Hill Farm. This is a dwarf Alberta spruce. It is deer resistant. This is an arrowwood type viburnum. That is also deer resistant. And of course the spruces like the blue spruce, Norway spruces, and all the types of spruces that have a hard, you know, hard needle are deer resistant as well. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 for your deer resistant We grow a lot of boxwoods here at Highland Hill Farm. These are our 18 inch Green Mountain boxwoods. And these are our 24 to 28 inch Green Mountain boxwoods. We grow a lot of other deer resistant trees and shrubs as well. And those are our five to six foot green giants. If you need any High quality deer resistant nursery stock, give us a call. We can deliver or deliver and plant or you can stop and pick up. We're on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. Just give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you.